dinner, I decided to make um, a spaghetti with a sugar-free spaghetti sauce. Um, I have my hamburger and mushrooms cooking over here. They smell really good. I'm gonna show you now. Okay, so my hamburger and mushrooms are cooking. Um, they're almost done. So I'm gonna throw in the noodles for my son and husband. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cook my spaghetti squash um, in my pressure cooker. So I'm really excited. I found um, how to do that. So I will show you here in just a second. Okay, you guys, so I have the spaghetti squash. I halved it and um, gutted it. And the instructions say to go ahead and use the steaming rack. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my pressure cooker. So here's the steaming rack, and then you add one cup of water. Here's my one cup of water. Now all you do is add your spaghetti squash um, halved side up. I'm gonna put both in there. And then we're going to put our lid on. So all we're going to do is hit the steam, um, fish vegetable steam. And then we're going to hit the time adjustment button and go up to seven minutes. That's it, guys. Seven minutes. So now it's going to get started. And I'll show you guys in seven minutes what we get. Okay, so this was pretty cool. Um, the amount of time it took for my pressure cooker to reach um, pressure was the exact same amount of time almost that it took my water to boil. So um, the pasta actually got done at just about the same time that my timer went off. So what it says is to go ahead and release the pressure valve. I also have some toast going. We usually eat um, spaghetti with toast and I'll probably have some peaches on the side for them. Um, I did make my loaf of um, I don't remember what bread this is. I think this is the Swiss loaf. Um, so I could have some toast with my spaghetti and I probably will slice into this and toast a few pieces. And I can eat it with butter because it's a fuel pole, which is kind of nice. All right, so I think we're about done. So I'm just gonna turn this guy. So excited to see, lots of steam. Okay, so we should be able just to, yep, look at that. Put the braid in the lip. It was done. I don't like my spaghetti squash overdone. Um, I don't like it mushy, but I don't like it squeaky. <laughs> so this is perfect. It just pulls away from the edge without much effort, and all of that is perfect. How exciting! Um, to be honest, next time I might do an extra minute. Um, maybe try eight minutes and see because it's just a little bit hard right towards the end. Oh, I don't know. It's peeling away pretty good. Yeah, maybe one more minute wouldn't have hurt. So that's kind of my review on that. But I will totally eat this with my spaghetti. And um, anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. Take care.